this. That you still stand. Your determination defies all reason. The souls within me writhe and recoil in your presence. What must I do? What pain must I visit upon you to make you surrender to despair? No one is unbreakable. What pains one may weather may bring another to tears. But therein lies our strength. For when we fall, our brothers and sisters are there to raise us up again and again without end. I see. But no matter how much hope exists, ever will there be more despair. Ever will the living pass the present and the past the future. So shall sing into life ceaselessly. Now that's a Final Fantasy end boss right there. God! Stop! Calm yourself! Please! Washed in ice, a frozen waste, 
Forever silent. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. You. That's gonna really piss Alice off. You claim is your strength. Unless you mean to call upon the dead once more. Defiant to the last, but you will be one with us ere long. You will be battered and torn and made to crawl. You will weep and wail and curse your impotence. Curse your life as it fades. As we did. As we died. Such pain and sorrow we felt. Such anguish and rage. We tried. We tried, but it was no use. Only when we surrendered did we find release. Only when we embraced death. I have no idea. So join us in despair. How to beat this lady. And embrace yours. My ultimatum! What is happening? Taru's carbuncle? Everything I find you, my friend. I sought something in you once, as you did in me. When at last I understood what it was, I journeyed to Charlien to see. He was you the guy! Struck a bargain with the woman who shares your gift. In exchange for lending the Scions my aid, I was given the means to come hither. upon what remained of the mother crystal i reclaimed the form of the dragon oh my god and oh my god hungry still for our reunion i rode the light of the stars to you i take it this is your prey But why does it still live? Surely it is no match for you. I assumed you would be above something so banal as despair. Am I mistaken? I- this man! This man! <laughs> I... Cannot believe this is...
I love to hate them. Let's do this shit. <sighs> I care not. What I desire of you isn't succor. It is satisfaction. So come! Let us dispense with this distraction, you and I! You struggle in vain. You will not silence our song of oblivion. I got to ride my dragon! I didn't even notice the song in the background's Big Fat Tacos! <laughs> I've never been more emotional over something so silly. party's gonna be. I'm just going down the list inviting people. So if this party ends up being all healers, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh. Let me see what what is my what is my party right now? That's zero, not O. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we have a warrior. We have two healers. All we need is DPS. Easy. That's eight. <laughs> I missed you, Bugar. I missed your. Me I just saw your message pop up. I want you to know that you're here in spirit, Bugar, I believe. I am going to kick the shit out of you when we're done. Oh, 
hunt ends this day. There is nowhere you can flee that we cannot follow. Even stars must die. Terrifying. All of us have no despair. We have seen the end. Between the stars. 
We have seen the end. doesn't seem good. This doesn't seem good. The same end. Again and again. <laughs> that pull over. Hey, hey alright, I get what we were going for. <laughs> Send my limits? Is that transcendence? I've, I've used my, my... Hey, thank God someone... Diamonds. So we needed to use our limit break? <laughs> ah! Okay. Well, I'm glad I can help. <laughs> I think my wings look pretty. If anything... Even, that's not even fair! Alright, don't worry. I brought Your my hollowed ground. Always does. <laughs> Ten seconds, sure, it can, I can do that. We will stand against fate. 
no matter the cost. We've been here before. Many a time. Thus do we know. To never give up. The hope will shine again. What I saw. This can only end in misery and desolation. No life, no star, nor the universe itself. None should hope for better. That was awesome. I have an inordinate, I can't even speak. I have an inordinate amount of thoughts about that. That was great. Ugh. No matter where we flew, there was only darkness, and loneliness, and pain. We couldn't find the answers Hermes yearned for. The answers he deserved. Greetings, you who are my final encounter. I wish to hear your words, share your feelings, know your thoughts. May we please be friends? Yes, 
I can see them. The memories of a long, long journey. So many people. The thoughts of them overflowing in your heart. What they live for. What gives their lives meaning. There was never a single answer. You gather pieces of happiness, precious and fragile, only to lose them. Then start again. On and on it goes, until death takes you into its gentle embrace. That which Hermes sent us to find was there all this time on a theris. perhaps. At first a single blossom. It spreads and takes on more colors. Thank you for guiding me here. To find these words at journey's end fills me with joy. And so, before I fall forever silent, there is one thing I must do. No expression of regret will undo what my sisters and I have done, or restore what we have stolen. But if you would allow it, I would sing one last song. A song of the newfound joy that swells in my heart. Of the beauty of light when it shines across a dark and starless sea. now lost to sorrow. Life will spring forth once more. Nourished by gentle rains and caressed by uplifting winds. A song of hope. a path back to your ship, where your dear friends await. Hold in your heart your desire to return to them, then follow my lead and walk forth. That hope will surely guide you through.
You mean to return. To the world where you are hailed as a hero. Hear me then. Not as a hero, but as simply you. As I learned in Alamigo, you are a formidable foe. Stronger than any I have faced. Against you, I need bring my all to bear. I need burn through the candle of my life. This is the sole pleasure I know. And it is the sole pleasure I have to share. And so I come before you to issue challenge and offer singular bliss. If you wish to walk away, I will not stop you. You value life. You do not burn yours save for reasons you deem worthy. Reasons such as those which brought you here. The salvation of a world and its people. The motives of a hero true. But there is more to you than that. You know this to be true. <laughs> I feel so called out. <laughs> as surely as you know the thrill of pushing your body and soul to their limits. Of confronting ever mightier foes, dancing ever closer to the precipice. Wondering if this will be the one to finally, finally fill the void. Oh my god. Such pleasures you seek for their own sake and no other reason is this not so adventurer remember when i jokingly said oh my god am i xenos i realize now i don't know if this is the intention of the devs but this is me reading way into it. Xenos is like me throwing my head against that ultimate Ultima that we were doing. And I kept losing and coming back and getting my ass beat over and over again, hoping that I would win. There's only one answer here. <laughs> ha! Acceptance at long last. The conflagration of our clash will scorch even the stars. I don't fight him right away? Oh my god. Started one way. It's gonna end the same way. Cry because I'm a red maid. Oh, I'm so dumb.
come! Yourself to your limit and me to mine. Seems a little worrisome. Oh, oh, <laughs> is this truly the best item <laughs> can master? Well, I have learned a few things about that. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Show me your Thank God for healing. Fortitude. Running from this? Do? I don't even know what to do. Soon you'll know the full extent of my power. even use my ability. I was too afraid. I wanted to heal. That's not helpful. A test of your reflexes. I literally don't. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. A test of your reflexes. Into it. This sounds about right. If there's ever a way to, end, if there's ever a way to truly end the game, it would be through just sheer force of will. Because <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't. Oh boy. Well, look, I moved, and that's pretty good. I didn't get frozen. Oh well, shit. I'm dead. Don't go the other way, little JC. Of your reflexes. I was stunned. Oh, my God. Have I overestimated your potential? Maybe you have. I'll be real honest. <laughs> I don't. Oh, little JC, don't give a shit. <laughs> little JC, don't give a damn, you son of a bitch. I walked into that. Ow, ow, ow! Stop your reflexes. You judge that it's entirely.
It is not your day, my man. It is not your day. Just keep going. Just keep going. You don't give up. All right, now to go to the corner like an idiot. No, like a smart person. A test of your reflexes. Why do you do this to me? This is the right way. Nope, he did it to me again! How did I fall for it? Twice! Okay, so that's not targetable, directionable, and I'm always going to miss him if I don't face the right through. Jesus, Remedy Christmas. You'll notice I haven't played my Red Mage since I hit 90. <laughs> I hit 90 on Red Mage and immediately switched to Paladin. I don't even, I'm like, oh, I do have an extra ability. That's true. You know what? Learn. Yeah, this is how you learn. Oh, Lord. Or you do that. Or you do that. Or you do this. Or you do this. Or you... A test of your reflexes. Uh, should I keep moving? Uh... My soul, how it burns! I know you feel it, the inferno swelling within you. Let all creation be consumed by our ravenous fervor! I have you! I... How would I even... Do not tell me your life's fire what? is already spent! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Get him, little JC! Get him, little JC! Yes! Yes! Rise once more! It mustn't end yet! Well, man, I don't know what you're doing, but it, it's worrisome. Oh, that late laser! Oh, yes, lasers! Many late. Yes, late. So many lasers! Yep, that happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. Test of your god. reflexes! Run, little JC! You don't have time for his reflexes! I They're too you. powerful! <laughs> Oh! Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go here and do this, and then do this, and this time I'm gonna aim it right at his dumb face. A test of your reflexes. Shoot! 
Show me your vaunted fortitude. My dude, I'm just gonna put the shield up and hope you don't blast me with lasers again. What if I run around and you blast me? What if I what if I just like press F3 a bunch? <laughs> what if I, uh, you know, figure out how to do all this? Not. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm just falling apart. You better not do it backwards. Ooh. Mine for the taking! Yeah, nope, that's a hurt. That's a hurting. I don't, know. I don't know how to avoid any of this. I don't know what the rules are. A test of your reflexes. I keep stress moving. My fingers are like hitting my keys and things are not happening. This is, I love this. I'm having a ton of fun. A test of your reflexes. Fortitude. Just gonna sit here and heal myself. Mine for the taking. <laughs> I have you. I got one more round. No, not yet. Not until the last of me is spent. Now fall. This is my moment. Button mash and do the thing. Do both. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> I said I'd punch someone to the face. I'm waiting all expansion for this.
I went up under those arms. I went, you <laughs> That is everything I wanted. <laughs> that was beautiful. Was this life a gift or a burden?
must tend to. Open your please. Someone can. Please. Of course, it's Alice, the one I hear clearest. It's like, that's some yelling in your ears right now. My body hurts. Thank the heavens. <laughs> For a moment, we thought. <laughs> oh. After what you've done, you're the last person <laughs> to be asking that. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> I didn't cry. I didn't cry. You. How can you keep your promise if you're not here? Another fine show you've put on, my friend. A fine show indeed. What were you thinking? Fighting alone. Never do that again. My poor heart couldn't bear it. Put yourself in our place. If you hadn't returned, how do you think we would feel? And if that sounds harsh, it's because we care. We tended to thy wounds as best we could. But how is the pain? Bro, I am hurt bad. <laughs> Technically, I died twice, I think. That is gladdening. Grievous as thine injuries were, however, I would counsel repose for a time. Gladdening! There's nothing gladdening about this! Oh, you... When Meteon appeared in here and told us that you were right behind her, we all got our hopes up. But you never came! And when you finally deigned to appear, you're within an ilm of your life. I'm waiting all expansion to punch her, man, and I Damn just- Damn you! Damn you for making us worry! But you're the ones who kept making fists, and I just wanted to, like, fall through on that storyline. I felt like oh, I just- those were cries of celebration! Anyway, well, the important thing is that you're all alive and in reasonably good health, and we mean to get you back that way. For your earlier request, I'm quite certain we're in range to make contact now. Ah, excellent. Let us announce our return at once. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> While you were unconscious, we set out from Ultima Thule, you see. Can you stand? If so, you may wish to see what's outside. What was that sassy look? <laughs> oh, these are some good ass looks.
We're home, my friend. We're home. Are they doing the Final Fantasy thing where they fly by all the towns? Oh my god. My heart. Shirt boy. I forgot his name. That one ish guardian soldier just like, oh, I'm at my post, I'm not watching. I just realized we now exist in a world where there is a, a genuine spaceship. Actually, two genuine spaceships. That is, uh, I don't know what that means for the story. That is now. Uh, oh, all right.
Shout out to Worldly Affairs Official. They gave Zonde a voice. Shout out to the real heroes, Singing Way and Sleeping Way. Shout out to Kairos, a.k.a. Eric Vulgaris, and the rest of the cast of Sunfall Cycle, wherever they're at. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know, like... That was fantastic, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> um, I must say, I must say that uh, I, I have so many, I like, I don't know how to, remind me one day to make a video because I have so many thoughts and I don't know how to formulate them into English. Um, I think, I mean, so like, the idea that we rode on a boss to a boss playing previous boss music, and then... The final theme was the You're the Boss music. That's like more than I ever could have asked for. What a ride. That was so good. I I do have a question. Uh, if, if now that we're done, I have a nitpick. One nitpick. One nitpick. Everything else I'm blown away by. One nitpick. I'm just going to put this out there. This is, I think it's the, it's the biggest problem with the game. Where are the two long versions of those songs that were in the music from the last fight? Where's my, like, screamo version of Stormblood? And where's my, a wigs of hope? Where's, the, where are the long versions? Those don't exist in the game. Those were incredible. Those are so good. Why do they not exist in the game? I demand them to exist in like 6.1 or 0.2 or 0.3. If you're going to wrap up, you're going to wrap up whatever we're doing. Even though you said 6.0 was the wrap up. Whatever it's going to be, I would love for a long version of those two songs. That's all I'm hoping for. I feel like I feel like we can we we we've earned that. We the both those songs are so good. Look, oh I, I don't know. I don't know what I realized I should go watch. What is chat chat? Hold on All right, this is thank Hi Jesse. Hello everyone again. Hi. I hope that was entertaining for you I'm sorry. I wasn't interacting with you. I didn't want to get spoiled for anything. I didn't want to I didn't want to spoil myself JP sent me a message. What does it say? Hey, we should do a show my entire soul is like broken at the moment. Ugh. I'm so gl I, I can't even. Ugh. I, uh, yeah. So I don't know. Like, there is, there is a lot of stuff to talk about. I love Xenos as a, as a final boss. I think that's amazing. That like, he literally showed up and was like, this, this is the boss. This is your fun. This is your fun. This is your final boss. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I. I thought for sure. I guess that's what happened. I thought for sure they were going to really hammer home the like. The, the little joys kind of aspect. You know what I mean? I thought we were going to have that conversation with uh, Medion. But I guess she got all she needed from like holding my hand, which is fine. Which is fine. Just like a hey. It's all good. Um, I also liked that 
the entire game, um, I like the entire game that, that twice, because I love, I love that. I love how there's a third, so they did the rule of three and it was very, very well done. Where the first time we were asked by Vanal whether it was like all worth it. And then the second time, Heidelin asks us, but we never answer Heidelin. We never answer. And then the third time, Xenos is the one who says it. I think that's very clever. I think it's very, very clever. We're getting like the whole, we're getting the whole thing. I don't, how long are the credits? I feel like everyone should have their, have their moment in the sun. But also, how long are the credits? 40 minutes? No, they are not 40 minutes. You know what? 10 years worth of 40, that yeah, probably checks out. Just skip this one. You can speed it up. One skip. Skip once. Don't skip. Skip once. Boy, everyone has opinions. This firewood seems very important to us getting through the... You know what? If this song transitions, then we'll stay. If this song suddenly becomes amazing, then I'm going to stay. And, and, well, no, it wasn't, it wasn't the transition I was looking for. It's very good, but it's not what I was looking for. All right. Just one escape, yes? Skip? Yes. Dearest mother, dearest father, this letter will be the very last that I write to you from the Rising Stones. As I commit these words to parchment, I fondly recall my journey as a scion. From the time I first walked into the Order's former halls, 
to the time I set forth to forestall the final days. At the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, we fought the battle of our lives. Fought against despair itself, a veritable maelstrom of it fed by the resignation that dwelled in the hearts of beings not so unlike ourselves. Full oft have I harboured the same malaise. Have I been brought to my knees, crushed by the weight of sorrow and defeat, convinced that I will never rise again. However, I have also known many moments of unbridled joy and happiness. By this truth do I find hope within, blooming resplendent, like the Elpis flower. And thus do I endure. Do I look forward to creating more memories with my friends and loved ones. For from these fertile seeds, yet more hope shall spring forth. And they will grow to become shining lights that illuminate the dark. Thus believing, I leave the rising stones behind, as will my comrades. For, as we have decided, after careful deliberation, we are disbanding the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You are Alphano. Everyone is already gathered in the foyer. My apologies. I'll be right there. At least, that is what the story will be. His boy. <laughs> I was very worried. Sorry to keep you all waiting. What could you possibly have left to do now? Oh. Just a letter. I imagine it will be a while before we can gather like this again. So it must be, if we're to keep up appearances. From now on, it falls to the Grand Company of Eorzea and its allies to deal with the realm's crises. Meanwhile, we shall return to our erstwhile ways. Retreating from plain sight to take our place in the shadows once more. Indeed. For the foreseeable future, I expect that we must work independently as we seek out problems that want for solving. But a day will come when we face another great challenge, and we will face it together, as we always have. As much as I look forward to that day, I do hope it doesn't come any time soon. Well, 
formal association or no, if any of you should require my services, you need but ask. I'll be glad to keep my lance arm honed. I'll hold you to that. So you had better keep your link pearl on hand. So you really mean to stay, Tatari? Oh, someone has to keep the Rising Stones in proper order. And even a super-secret organization requires a super-secret base of operations. To the rest of the world, it will be naught more than a workshop for Eorzea's foremost up-and-coming artisan. If you thought our coffers were full to bursting before, just wait till I can devote myself wholly to the crafts. Oh. Plotting to build a mercantile empire to rival that of Lord Lodorito, are we? <laughs> I, for one, look forward to your future successes, Tataru, as do I our next meeting. And with that, I believe it is past time you all made ready to depart. Leave no preparations undone or words unsaid, all right? Now. Off with you. She just meant the B team, is what, what she meant. Now, B team, get out of here. They know what she means. Oh my goodness, they're all here. Holy majoli. This is beautiful. I gotta go to the B team. Come on be here all night. Holy crap. I still remember the day we sparred together as though it were yesterday. To think how far we have all come since then. Even now, I have not abandoned my dream of besting you in single combat. Of a friendly nature, of course. Though I clearly do not hold a candle to the warrior of light at present, I should continue to train diligently that one day you might consider me your equal. Far too much blood has been spilt, and far too many lives lost still. I'm glad I was able to do something to repay those who showed me a path to the future. Not that our job is over, of course, far from it. There is much that remains to be done before true and lasting peace can be achieved. To that end, Hori and I... Uh, oh, made us up to Corvos, yo! We expect the tensions between the Garlians and Corvosi will flare more with the Empire's fall. That's why Graha wants to talk to him. Oh, Little. Might you have a moment to talk? Never mind, I guess we're not gonna... With the sun stepping away from the public eye... I've been left to consider what new endeavors I might pursue. You know what? I'm just gonna do that. Now, after speaking with Kryl, I've decided I'll be assisting her in rebuilding the students of Baldessian. Not only am I indebted to Master Gallop for giving me a new home, but had our order never existed, I would have never set foot within the Crystal Tower. How different my life might have been. I would never have met you, never become caretaker of the tower, never become a scion. You gave me the chance to do much good, and I hope to continue to do so with the students. For my added benefit, new mysteries often find their way to our doorsteps. Mysteries that could prove ideal for fulfilling our per uh, promise to embark on new adventure together, unlike anything we've experienced before. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro! When 
Whenever you have the time and inclination, my friend, I stand ready to accompany you unto the unknown. Do you recall in the realm of Omicrons when I asked if you thought I may someday be mentioned in your epic? Well, it is true that to earn a place at your side would be the stuff of dreams. I really like books, bro. In the end, nothing would give me greater joy than to stand with you in the here and now. It needn't be some great, uh, grand endeavor. There needn't be a promise. Whenever adventure calls, I won't hesitate to invite you, and I hope you will do the same for me. As long as you don't overexert yourself. <laughs> I know, I know. I can hear Lena and Beck Lug's voices each time you remind me. As much as we have already seen, there's still so much we haven't. Who knows? Perhaps we will even encounter survivors of the Omicron somewhere out there. After all, given how they took the stars, it isn't implausible that some found themselves far from home. <gasps> Multiverse! And should we encounter a wayward traveler awaiting commands that will never come? would bid them seek adventure with someone and with that partner find new purpose. Uh, do you want a robot partner? Or if crystals can hold fast to dreams, why not Omicrons? Wherever your plans may lead, do not hesitate to send word and should a commission of interest come my way, you'll be the first to know. accomplished our goal and put it behind us, but my time with the science provided memories that will last me a lifetime. What memories? What bliss! To think I was blessed with a chance to experience such unbridled brotherly love! This girl has not changed in four expansions. Ah, oh, but now that Ogre has decided to set off with his de without his dear brother, Without the two of them together, I fear I might suffer withdrawal. Girl? I'm so glad the danger's passed. There was nothing I could do but pray from here, so I was relieved to point of tears when everyone made it back safely. I imagine we'll have more free time, so I was thinking I'd study up on healing magic that I could make myself more useful in the future. My first stop will be the Astrologicum, in Ishgard to learn about Charlie and astrology. I must follow Ucker's lead and continue to hone my skills. I'm so glad I was able to be here this moment. I know I considered continuing to follow in Ori's footsteps, but I've realized it's time I found my own way in life. Otherwise, I'd never be half the man my brother is. First things first, I'm going to head to Gridania. Gridania to visit the Conjurer's Guild and the Archer's Guild. Do my best to brush up on my skills before I see you again. Oh, are we saying our farewells too? I hadn't at present planned on a journey of any great length. Not that I'm averse to a moment or two of quiet reminiscence. In fact, there was something I'd been meaning to ask you. Something that has been on my thoughts since the last flames of the final days subsided. During our travels, we witnessed more than a lifetime's worth of oddities and spectacles. More than can e be easily recalled or remembered. Nestled amongst those memories are certain essential facts 
the history of a theorist and the ancients, glimpses of the ear of their culture and philosophy. Rather than simply hoard such treasures in my mind, I wonder if I should not be disseminating them in formal records for wider consumption. We needed, uh, when needed, I have penned reports and prepared briefings, but ever have I balked at the idea of binding the subject to my studies in a book or tablet? Truth is given shape and interpretation. When we seek to capture it with our words, it is invariably molded to fit a narrative, no matter how well-intentioned the rendering. The event is described as sad, a summation which fails to express the emotional complexity, yet the word on the page is what endures a pale shadow of reality. Throughout history, some have deliberately embellished the truth, but I believe many, if not most, deviations are the result of similar linguistic shortcomings, piling one upon the other until the end result is unrecognizable from its origin. Which is why I fear that Writing an account of my own words would be akin to diluting fine wine with water. Yet, even with the potential for corrupting a uh, corrupt meaning, I do of course realize the importance of keeping written records. Without them, my search for wisdom would be a painful affair indeed. But what say you on this matter? Should I take up the quill, reflect upon those experiences only we have shared, and seek to preserve them for posterity? I promised Graha. Very well then. I shall endeavor to pen what I can of the ear and the ancients and of so many other wonders. But I am no scribe. It'll be less polished work and more of a reordering of scattered notes. In any case, I feel much better for having sought your opinion. Left to our own devices, we tend to overthink such things. We? Oh, well, dirt. I will otherwise return to following where my curiosity leads. After all, a safe method of travel to the first yet eludes me, and our venture into the great expanse has prompted an entirely new set of questions. Should you stumble into the unknown or struggle with some impenetrable mystery, know that I am at your beck and call. It never hurts to see things from a different perspective, and mine is rather different than most. Lise came to visit the other day. She peppered me with questions about the lasting repercussions of the final days. I took the opportunity to explain our plans to disband, and she understood our reasoning immediately. Once a scion, always a scion, it would seem. She was eager to live old times and remember old friends, bittersweet memories, mayhap, but from the look on her face, the joys outweighed the sorrows. What do you have to say? By the way, have you spoken with Fayul of late? Some days ago, they appeared to me in a dream. Of the sleeping persuasion, that is. <laughs> All was well in the first, they bade me tell you. When I asked why not tell you yourself, they unleashed giant ravenous beavers upon me. Have you perchance done something to incur their ire? <laughs> not me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he 
you have something to say, then out with it. Just wondering how you'll earn, it, how I'll earn my keep now. <laughs> I, I, I mean. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what? I thought you adventurers had any number of ways to earn coin. Though the Scion's mode of operation has changed, we should be compensated as before. In any case, I don't want for options, even if some are worse than others. No sooner did Emmerich hear about our disband <laughs> disbandment than he offered me a position as a guardsman in the Imperium District. As a former Azure I am guaranteed to be popular, he said. What does he take me for? Even without his meddling, I'm perfectly capable of finding employment, and have. Some days ago, a Hanish envoy arrived with word from Vitra. The worm requests my presence as soon as things have settled here. He didn't deign to mention why I'm needed, but it pertains to dragons, like as not. In Thavnir, like elsewhere, the phenomena caused by the final days abated when you defeated Meteon. Though it was too late for those who had already transformed, life is beginning to return to normal for the survivors. Of those who sought refuge in Charlian, most have already returned home. But many do not have a home to return to, nor loved ones. By an arrangement between Fritra and the Forum, such souls may remain in Charlian, if they wish, to work and study. Fritra was always the satrap in truth. It's gratifying to see him become one in name as well. One who has the complete confidence of his people, if Envoy's tone was any indication. <laughs> I often find myself speaking favorably of dragons of late. Not so long ago, I would have assumed his benevolence hid ulterior motives. But it is clear he cares for his people, and they in turn revere him. Uh, to know such a nation may flourish is comforting. Fratris Kins sought release from conflict. So weary were they of the suffering it wrought, they surrendered to oblivion. But Midgar Soma didn't give up, in hope he made the journey to distant Theris with his clutch of eggs. And though his progeny went on to be embroiled in conflict with men, there were times when they transcended hatred to abide in harmony. That is their legacy and their triumph. My lance... I feel the weight of their struggle, the strength of their resolve, and it lends me strength. These things I might never have learned had I not joined you. Should you ever need of me, I will come. At the very least, it might be an opportunity to earn coin. You big goober. Word has it a false deity born in the Tower of Zod has survived and occasionally appears to terrorize locals. Those who vanquish the being and present proof in Radatan will receive a handsome reward, though handsome isn't the word I would use to describe such outlandish garb. But while I'm in Thavnir, perhaps I will acquire a set and send to Emmerich in lieu of an answer to his job offer. Let him stand guard thus attired and be the talk of the Imperium. If not all of Curthus. The salvation Menphilia dreamed for Eosia comes closer to reality with every step the Scions take. Yes, the world may still be in the throes of change, but it is improving. I see it happening day by day. And I sit here praying that whatever new road you walk, will bring you the wonder and joy you deserve. Should you need a rest in between your journeys, do come and join me on the terrace for old time's sake. Uh, 
Ah, our champion and savior. I was beginning to think my chance for an audience would never come. He's just by himself. Ahem. <clears throat> that sounded more amusing in my head. Speaking of heads, I was worried about yours. And the rest of you, for that matter. On the mend, I trust? Glad to hear it. You were in a bad way, and the healing matters to know. I'm impressed by how swiftly you've recovered. Then again, it is hardly the first time you've cheated death. Your strength of will has never failed to astonish me. Look at what you've accomplished, Medion defeated, her song of oblivion cut short, the source, and all her reflections delivered from the final days. If you had faltered at the last, then all hope would have been lost, but you held fast. Now Reen has a tomorrow to look forward to, and I could ask for no greater gift than that. As for a lesser gift, however, the next time you see her, I would appreciate you not describing my travel plans with Urian J as aimless wandering. We purpose in our roaming, after all, keeping an eye on things in the absence of the scions on the world stage. There'll never be an end to little problems that go unattended by nations. We will do our best to help out where and when we can. Which I suppose is an approach not far removed from aimless wandering when you get down to it. Perhaps you could tell her I'm faring well and leave it at that, eh? No need to mention this feeling of being uprooted. I never be one to stand still for long, but when I think of home, it is the rising stone which comes to mind. How many times have we set out from this base Thence to return when our work was done. On the days the Scions came together, I only hoped for Manfilia to find a place where she belonged, but never did I expect to find one here for myself. Indulge me a little. I have a question for you, and imagine Manfilia herself is asking. Are you glad you joined the Scions? I, I can honestly say the same. But all good things must come to an end, at least for a time. Should you need a helping hand for infiltration or reconnaissance, you know who to ask. I'll come running and you'll likely get a certain funny talking fortune teller into the bargain. It's a shame the signs are disbanding, if only in name. I still fondly recall the day you granted me my uniform. The memory remains vivid, yet it feels like a lifetime ago. I consider returning to Adder's Nest, but since I've come this far, I've decided I ought to continue my journey and venture to Garlemald instead. The exploits of you and your companions are truly, uh, truly an inspiration to us all. I have never felt more compelled to hone my own skills that I one day might be able to accomplish such heroic deeds. Argmus means to visit Limsa Luminsa, and I will join him and continue my search. I know not when we'll meet again, but please take care of yourself. I still scarce believe, I can still scarce believe our battle extended to even the ends of creation. But seeing the Scion's mission to completion was both an honor and a privilege. As for myself, I've spent quite a while away from home, so I think I'll return to Limsa Lamensa for now. Once I get there, my first order of business will be drowning, uh, downing <laughs> in a pint or three at the drowning wench. Someone was drowning. It was the wench. Go on, little. Don't miss the chance to say a word to each of our friends. After all, after all you've been through, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Is there anyone hiding back there? Mm 
There's been naught but chaos since the Tlaferoi first appeared. Towers, Lunar Primals, the Empire of the Final Days. Yet we have weathered it all and lived to see the sun rise on a new day. And now that peace has returned, I can finally resume my travels with my grandfather. Perhaps we will go first to Kugane and relax in the Bokaisen Hot Springs. That might be nice. Of course, my journey will not simply be for pleasure. I will collect information on territories I travel. Hmm. Perhaps I shall visit Nagjia via Doma. You were but an amateur adventurer when we first met. Look at you now. You've grown into quite a fine lad. Just as I always knew you would. One might say I ought to settle down in my old age, but seeing as now, uh, seeing you now has set my adventurous spirit ablaze once more. But the first journey I set out upon will be a long-awaited hot springs toward my dear friend, Homie. Yo, wherever you at, Homie? We miss you. In case you've not heard, the Waking Sands will be converted into a warehouse. We'll be keeping the place free of rats and cobwebs, so it can still serve as an outpost should need arise. Considering Shitaru's ambitions, however, I'd not be surprised if she claimed the lot for her budding empire. That's my Tataru. Little, thou hast spoken with your comrades. Though this parting be not forevermore, tis nonetheless occasion for sorrow akin to a pixie's path. The navigation of such farewells is a perilous endeavor indeed. For their part, however, the Loperitz embark upon a new beginning. Though bereft of its purpose as a vessel, the moon yet remaineth hospitable for the creatures of Atheris. Thus do our lunar visitors convene with the Forum, intent upon assigning some new and beneficial role to our solitary satellite. Yet ere that may come to pass, there is much and more each party must learn of each other, a process which doth promise to be eventful indeed. To that end, a cadre of loperates hath gleefully dispersed across our lands in the name of mutual understanding. Hydaelyn, tis said, did imbue them with her love for all things born of this star, and tis Vanot's own nature, I believe, which doth manifest in this impressive, inexhaustible curiosity of theirs. Having witnessed that which they strove to achieve, I wish most keenly for their long labors to be rewarded, so that their abiding affection for man result in a boon for all. Moreover, I hope to continue our acquaintance and share in such knowledge as they see fit to impart. Wish to presume. I uh, would be honored should they consider me a friend. For it is certainly true that I have grown fond of their company. Uh, but I shall digress no further. This day should belong to the scions of the seventh dawn, to mine incomparable companions. Oft times hath mine reticence. Cause the grief in mine actions spurred allies to suspect betrayal. And yet, here amongst you I stand still, still stand, whatever. No amount of words could express my gratitude for thine acceptance and forgiveness. Thus, instead, I do proffer my humble support. Be it unto the deepest abyss or the highest heaven, even if it must needs founder across stormy seas, ever shall I answer thy summons. Uh, 
I understand that following thy clash with Xenos, the teleportation device thou had discarded fell on thee from on high. To return to thee in such a manner, I did confer with Wolfson in Bloida, yet they insist the device was not possessed of uh, was possessed of no such capability. It was a miracle befitting the nature of that place where emotion becometh tangible reality. Whence then arose this timely wonder, thine ardent wish, or another's fervent prayer? Great question. Love that it's open to interpretation. I'm sure the forums are abuzz with what that means. Little, have you seen your uh, uh, seen your preparations, have you? I'm just making another sweep of my belongings. Wouldn't do to find I've forgotten something halfway to my destination. Oh, in case you hadn't heard, we've received new reports detailing the devastation caused by the final days. It appears the, situ the situation is gravest in the lands surrounding the bounty, where the sky first began to burn. After that, the calamity was observed in the far north in Garlemald and the frozen lands beyond. We also had reports of the heavens catching fire in isolated locations, one of which was an area northern empty. Had our quest taken any longer, Charlie and two would have come under threat. Thank goodness it's over now. To be sure, blasphemies and lesser beasts may still be roaming about, but these localized cries should be well within the crises, crises, these overtly... These localized crises? That's the word. I just don't know how to say it. Should be well with the capacities. Oh, I can't do it. Alice, I can't do it. The scions are no longer needed. Which isn't to say that we won't help out where we can, of course. As individuals, no more of this order business. For my part, I'll be heading to Garlemald with Alphano. They were among the worst affected and still need all the help they can get. It won't be easy. And never part of aiding those in need is coming face to face with tragedy. No, it doesn't make it any easier though that I'll curse my weakness, my inability to fix every problem and save every lost soul. But no matter how much it hurts, I won't give up. I'll do what I can for m many people as I can, begrudging no effort. And should I find myself discouraged, I'll remember you. Think back fondly to one of your many moments of triumph and the accompanying determined expression. I do do that, I do that frequently. Even those that still annoy me in retrospect. Like when you activated the teleporter without warning. <laughs> and should you hear about me, I want you to remember this too. Remember that I'm out there somewhere trying my very best. Couldn't even read, I can't even read. My eyes are like crusted over. This is bad, this is bad news. trying to become famous or anything. That being said... Next time we meet, I'll be vastly improved. So don't be surprised when you find yourself marveling at me. Did I forget to mention anything? Ah, yes! The Hanish envoy who came to see Asinian also bore a letter from Matsya. He writes that Maven and Kir Kirasov's little girl is doing well, and he often goes to visit her. Uh, it won't be easy growing up without her parents, but with her fellow vi villagers watching over her, I dare to hope that she won't want for warmth as she grows up. Oh. 
Arnvald has pressing matters, according to him anyway. A pity he couldn't be here to witness this momentous occasion. Though he bids me tell you congratulations. As for me, well, once the science disbanded, I, uh, disband, I intend to resume my work in Rolgar's reach. I suppose Arnvald will need support in Gerbania too, though he would not admit as much. Well, he will have my help, whether he wants it or not. I'm still waiting for them to wrap up Arnvald and uh, Fordola. That has to happen, right? Feels a little strange. Now me lick pearl's gone quiet. Since my unique skills are no longer needed for safety to star and all that, I'm going to become an adventurer like you, traveling far and wide. I imagine I'll start by heading to Mirror City or the New World. Just need to find myself a ship first. Oh, little, how are you feeling? Any lingering aches or pains? I can't apologize enough for sending Xenos to find you an ultimate fool. When he came to me in Charlien, I was truly torn. As ever, there was only one thing on my mind. Or on his mind. Forced to make a decision, I reasoned that if he would not be deterred from seeking you out, he might at least aid us in our cause, and so I struck a bargain. In the end, he was true to his word. You defeated him despite your earlier exertions. But knowing the state you were <laughs> found in, it could have ended very differently. My decision almost cost you your life, and no words could express the remorse I feel. <laughs> I won't lie. Uh, the, no, you do the right thing. I flew on a dragon. Cryo. I flew on a dragon and punched that dragon in the face when he became a man. No, it's worth it. It's a relief to hear you say that. Thank you. Time and time again, I've been made to feel woefully inadequate. I wasn't much use in battle, nor could I face the form without my nerves getting the better of me. It always fell to you and the others. I must and will do better. And I shall begin with the restoration of the students of Aldessian. Through my work, our work, Charlene will strengthen its ties with other nations that we may be better prepared to face whatever threats arise in the future. Of course, this isn't something I can accomplish alone, but thankfully I have the staunchest of help in Raha and Ojika and our other remaining members. Together, we'll continue. The other remaining members are like Ejika. That's the only one I can, and the other one. We'll continue grandfather's work, but screw Ejika. As before, certain commissions will take us to dangerous locales, and we may need to call upon seasoned adventurers. At such times, might you be willing to assist us? Not because you feel obliged, mind you, but because you feel the allure for the task itself. Ow, clobber him! Marvelous. Should something of interest arise, I shan't hesitate to reach out to you. Until that day, I shall endeavor to become a more dependable comrade. Oh, I should mention that Aaronville was kindly has kindly agreed to share art of potential interest he hears from his fellow cleaners. In exchange, he will keep the uh, he will help them to restore the archives to the proper order. With the exodus abandoned. All items will be returned once they came, a task no less grueling than their removal. Even now, Ojika assists with the sorting of arcane artifacts. Oh yes, not only is he a skilled administrator, he's also a certified appraiser specializing in relics from the fifth astral era. Despite his qualifications, though, he seems none too keen on the work. I shall have to go and relieve him as soon as I can. Oh, little! Pray forgive me for delaying the gathering. I was writing a leather, you see, leather, leather, letter, you see, to my parents. As busy as father has been tending to the aftermath of the Exodus, he has been good enough 
to uh, show concern for the Scions. Besides, I've made them worry enough for a lifetime. Henceforth, I will endeavor to write as often as I'm able. Little effort to set their mind at ease while we continue to be away from Charlie. Both Alice and I are off to assist with Garlemald's recovery, you see. Though uncertainty remains over what will become of the nation, we cannot well leave the capital in its present state. We will rejoin those members of the Ilsebar contingent still stationed there. Lucia and Maxima helm the relief effort, with support from our allies, the people of Garlemald among them. They will gradually be joined by those who have finished treating the tempered across the lands. Unless you misunderstand, we do not seek redemption for failing Lucinia and her sister. That is a burden we must always bear. Nay, we go because of the truth of Lord Quintus's words. The truth that whatever ideals individuals may espouse, nations are not moved to action unless they stand to benefit. For the foreseeable future, the fallen empire will be at the mercy of both internal and external forces. And though I do not doubt the intentions of the contingent, with greater powers involved in the relief effort, our allies may well find themselves drawn into the political agenda. In going, we seek to ensure that the needs of the people come first, to understand their hearts, that we might better help them to begin anew. I want him to write me. Right? That seems like the... You know, I don't need to visit them. Tell me what's going on with you. Yeah. I think. Yeah, whatever. would I be for your visit? And I believe I speak for Alice as well. For fairly, uh, as long as I've been in Eorzea, you'll be at my side, watching over me in good times and bad. How many times have we gathered to share tidings? None could possibly keep count. The world is changing and will continue to do so, yet no matter what the future brings, I hope that I can ever look to you, in good times and in bad as a dependable comrade and dear friend both. I smash him! Thank you, little. From the bottom of my heart. We, we did it! I've been keeping Harold abreast of the situation in letters, but unfortunately he could not be here today. When it is convenient for us both, we should pay him a visit. I read it. I read them all. I read them all, Tataru. My voice is shot. But we did it. I'm trying to see if there's anyone I missed. I think we're good. Spoken to you, Phil, have you? If so, I'm thinking send everyone off. With your permission, then. Your attention, please, you boo hounds. You boo hounds? I can't even say booze. <laughs> I've been going too long. I'm broken. I'm broken. This game broke me. It's time to depart. You boo hounds. In my capacity as the receptionist, I bid you all a safe journey. Till next we meet. Be well. You get an Argos? That's why everyone has an Argos mount. Also, they were like, here, have the songs. We, we know you want them.
I suppose we're off to Garlemald then. Though we ought to speak with Lord Emmerich first. If he's received word of any recent developments, we need to know. Twould be prudent to purchase some warmer clothes at least. Mayhap we can pick up a few souvenirs for Eulis and the others while we're at it. Where will you all be heading next? Dravania, there is a book I've been meaning to borrow from the great Google Library. Then I shall stay in the cave for, I don't know, three or four patches. And I can think of at least one person who will be most displeased should I fail to visit before leaving. Yeah. We've no particular destination in mind, but we do intend to stop in Charlien before we set off. We had thought to ask after the Loperitz. I am curious as to how well those who chose to remain are adapting to their changed circumstances. Might we accompany you then? Raha and I were planning to return to the Baldessian Annex. Commissions have been piling up in our absence, and they must be dealt with ere we begin our work in earnest. Estinian. You will return to Rads at Harn, will you not? Aye. For Vritra's benefit, though I've yet to hear the details, I may not stay long. I see. Then it is here the Scions at last part ways, each to some far-flung corner of the realm. Perhaps. But I believe one of our number, a rather important one at that, has yet to divulge his plans. <laughs> Quite right. Indeed. Fair point. So, what's next for our humble adventurer? So, I have a lot of glams, and I was thinking that maybe I should just go farm a bunch of, like, if I just, like, then I can wear different outfits. And constancy of this place never ceases to amaze me. An ocean of souls, shimmering and eternal. First off, uh, there is no first off. Hi. Hey. Hi. The past? Elidibus? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how any of this is working. And yet, something stirs. Yes. Steeped in darkness, deep as starless night, the beast hungers. Oh, it's the raid. Alas, I dare not investigate in earnest before the coming of my guiding star, as he foretold. We shall descend to the depths, you and I, to confront the dread beast Pandemonium. Oh, 
the sights we shall see. The sights we shall see. I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, quest to unlock new content have been, yeah, trust and duties. Rest well, Champion of Theris, for many more adventures await you. I. Hey, uh, whoa, look at this. Hey, hey, hey. Everyone's looking great. You're all look amazing. Lonely art. What, what is this? Happiness juice. Happiness juice. Fine, I'm gonna give you one jerk beef. <laughs> Fair trade. Fair trade. <laughs> Fair trade.